My wife and I are just driving across Pont de Terre Lake on our way to Bennett Springs to do some trout fishing. My wife can't fish because she's still on crutches, but I'm going to see if I can catch a trout. The weather here is horrible. It has been raining. The lakes and rivers are muddy. The wind has been high and it's been cold. So I figure that Bennett Springs is about the only place I have a chance to catch a fish today. So come along with me and let's see if I can do that. Well, here we are. We're just pulling in the road going into Bennett Springs. It's been about an hour's drive for us. It's rained on us all the way. It rained all night last night and it's supposed to rain all day today. We stopped by the park office and I changed into my waders and got my fishing permit. And now we're headed down to the spot where we're going to start fishing. As I was wading out to start fishing, you can see that I was using my spinning rod. I prefer to fish with my fly rod when I'm fishing for trout, but the spring is up so high and the water is very dingy by Bennett Spring standard. And I like to fish the far bank right up against it and I can't even reach it with my spinning rod, much less a fly rod.
While I was fishing, Sharon drove up to the spring. I wanted her to take a picture of where the water actually comes up out of the ground to form Bennett Spring. Well, I fished about a half hour where I started and caught nothing. So I've moved up now to fish the little pier that's about a hundred yards above where I started fishing originally. There he is. The lure I'm using is a kapok bug. It's made by wrapping styrofoam around a hook and then taking the material that used to go in life jackets and wrapping it around the material. My dad invented this lure back in the early 50s and now everybody uses it at Bennett Springs. The advantage of this lure is you're fishing underwater but it stays above the vegetation. You put a split shot about two foot above it and the split shot rubs against the vegetation but the lure floats above it and doesn't get hung up. This is a young man that's fishing with me here on the pier. He has a trout. Give me a smile. Well I fished about an hour here on the pier and uh, I've caught that one trout and had two others strike and had another one on for a while. But uh, they're just not doing too good. I'm going to move back down where I started and try a different lure.
I'm walking down below this little dam that I'm fishing. It's a beautiful place. I doubt if I catch anything here, but I want to take some pictures of it. Well, we left the upper end. We left the little rock dam that I've been fishing around all morning, and I've gone down to the big dam up at the top of it. I've had some good luck in this area, and so I'll give it a try. I caught this trout on a woolly booger, which isn't unusual at all, but the way I use it is kind of unusual. My brother and I do this with great success. We put a quarter ounce sinker about four foot above the woolly booger, fish it in deep water where there is vegetation, and rip it real hard. And when the quarter ounce sinker hits the vegetation, it dislodges shrimp and snails, and the fish will hit it. one <laughs>
Well, I fished here about 30 minutes, caught one trout, hooked another one, had two or three more strikes. But it's about time for me to move on down. I want to show you some more water. I'm going to go down the direction you're looking now, down toward the bottom of the big dam. Before I go down below the big dam, I'm going to go back to the car and check on my wife. And I'm going to change rods. It's legal to use lures with treble hooks on them below the dam. So I want to do a little lure fishing down there. Baby, I'm going to go, I, I caught another one, and I'm going to put a lure on, a uh, crankbait, and go down below the dam, mostly to just get some pictures. I'll make a few casts there, and then we'll go down to Whistle Bridge, and then we'll take quit, okay? I don't expect to catch anything down there, but I want to use it. Crankbait just to try. Taking a picture of the most patient woman in the world to sit in the car all day while I'm trout fishing. She's on crutches and can't fish. Going down to fish off the bank below the dam makes me think of my buddy, the Realistic Fisherman, one of my YouTube friends. He has a great channel. I want to give a shout out to him. Go watch his channel, The Realistic Fisherman. If you like to watch somebody fish from the bank, he does a fantastic job of it. He's a real nice guy. Go check him out.
Well, I caught what I thought I'd catch down here, nothing. I'm going to walk back to the car now, and uh, my wife and I are going to go down to one more spot and fish about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to go have us some lunch. The water I'm fishing here has pretty much the same depth all the way across. When I get in that type of water, I like to use streamers if I'm fishing with my fly rod, but since I'm using my spinning rod today, I'm going to use something very similar, a marabou jig. Well, we didn't catch anything there either, and so we're going to call it a day. I've already come back to the car and taken off my outer wear, so I won't get the car wet. My wife's coming in behind. She stayed back to take a couple of pictures, and as you can see, she's still on her crutches. We had a great meal at the restaurant and we're on our way home. We've had quite a day. It's rained on us all day. There was practically no one in the park. The fewest people I've ever seen here. That'll give you an idea of how bad the fishing has been. But we call our channel Fish for Fun, not Fish for Catch. And we had fun today. I always have fun when I'm with my wife on the water. Uh, she was quite a girl today. She's still on those crutches and is going to be there, it looks like, for maybe another week or two. But she was ready to get out of the house, and I think she had fun too. And I hope you had fun. I want to thank you for coming along.